Mother? How do I look? Adorable. You going to a picnic? I'm going to my audition for Elliot's play. I have to be there in a half an hour. What do you think? Oh, well, darling, it is an off-Broadway. Wouldn't a dress or a suit or something be a little bit more appropriate? Sarah May enters from right. That's me, I hope. She is a mature adolescent, pretty, although slightly petulant, a mixture of ingenuous malice and innocence. She wears blue jeans and a checkered shirt. I can see why Elliot thought you would do, and you obviously know what you're doing. You look exactly right. I want this part. Oh, how I want this part. I haven't wanted anything so much for a long time. Not even Seneca. About the same. Do you know what I went through to get this checkered shirt? They are really passe. Of course, the play is set in the 50s. Ah, oh, a period piece. Yeah. Do you think you could tell me some stuff about the 50s? Way back then? Oh, well, now, let's see. Uh, girls wore bangs and crinoline skirts. Uh, virginity was fashionable. And young people who smoked cigarettes, which consisted only of paper and tobacco, considered themselves very racy. Wow. Sounds like the Dark Ages. No, it did have its points. The rules were a lot clearer, for one thing. Oh, right. Men were men, women were women, and nobody protested anything. Can I use that? Okay. Little girls wanted to grow up to be mommies, and if they wanted anything else, that was tough luck. Well, you weren't raised to want anything more, and if you did, you broke the rules and ran away. You know, there are even times when I get a flash on things that I understand why you ditched me. Does it make it any better? No, but I understand. Thank you. Anyway, I'm glad I'm growing up in the time that I am. Battles are fought and won. Women can be anything they want to be. Everything. Just like that, huh? Well, no, you have to have luck, looks, talent, somebody who believes in you. And I have all those things, so there's no reason why I can't be everything. I have a husband who wants me to be everything I can be. It's not as if I have to slave for him cooking and cleaning. We can hire somebody to do that. Yeah, if you're into self-actualization, a little bit of money does help. I could do it without that if I had to. Possibly. Well, but this way, I get to devote all my energies to loving Seneca, to working on my craft, preferably on the job. Of course, if I had a husband whose head was in the dark ages, I'd be in trouble. You know who reminds me of back to the 50s? Michael Pavel. You know, that's funny. He has always seemed like a bit of an anachronism to me. I find it touching. I went to see him at the Crystal Palace yesterday. I decided it'd be a good idea if I told him about me and Seneca face to face, and I thought he might be happy for me or at least wish me well. Kim, Michael was in love with you. Not so in love that you couldn't buy him off. Oh, now, wait a minute. That only happened after he made it clear. He realized that there wasn't any future for the two of you. Well, not what he wanted, but why can't we be friends now? Possibly because you once were a great deal more than that. That, does, that doesn't matter now. <sighs> How would Seneca feel if you were to uh, keep in touch with Michael? Well, why shouldn't I? I'm not going to have an affair, you know. Mother, you're thinking 1957 again. In today's world, married women can have friends. I don't know why Michael's being so dumb about it. Anyway, I think he'll probably come around, especially after I'm a big Broadway star. You really expect to have it all, don't you? Or die trying. I better go. Can I come back again after I read? Please. Good luck. Good luck, Kimberly. Katie Ardition.
Kamar, Bree, and John Paul are talking. And Laura and Jason are spilling. It's a SoapNet special event. Find out what happens on your favorite soaps this fall. It's the SoapNet original you can't miss. Hosted by Lisa Rinna and Ty Treadway. You're not going to believe what we're going to reveal. SoapNet reveals ABC Soap Secrets. Thursday, August 31st on ABC, when you normally see The View. Shh. SoapNet makes watching the young and the restless easy. The Abbots. When John Abbott married Dina Mergeron, they raised three children, Jack, Tracy, and the lovely Ashley. Ashley had a daughter, Abby, with sperm stolen from Victor Newman, whose wife, Nikki Newman, was once married to Jack Abbott, who once slept with his stepmother, Jill Foster Abbott, while she was married to Jack's father, John Abbott. Discover who's who on The Young and the Restless, only on SoapNet. This Family Tree is brought to you by Silk Soy Milk. Are you struggling to lose weight? Does it seem like no matter what you do, you just can't get rid of excess body fat? It's not your fault. Many of us have simply given up the hope to lose weight. Body fat builds over our midsection on top of the muscle underneath the skin. And over the years, it gets worse. Body fat increases from having kids, stress at work, lack of exercise, and poor diet. The Obesity Research Institute has found the solution. It's called Lipozine. Lipozine is clinically proven to help reduce your body fat and weight. And to raise awareness about this weight loss breakthrough, the company is letting people try Lipozine risk-free for 30 days. In a moment, there will be a toll-free number on the screen that you can call to receive your risk-free trial. Lipozine is so powerful that body fat and weight loss are guaranteed. In a recent major university double-blind study, not only did participants lose weight, but 78% of the weight lost was pure body fat. What's even more amazing is that people were not asked to change their daily lives. It's so easy. Just take Lipozine. That's it. Please remember, Lipozine is intended only for those people who seriously need to get rid of body fat and weight. Now you can get Lipozine over the phone direct from the manufacturer. If you're ready to get rid of pounds of body fat, then call the number on your screen right now. Lipozine is worth the price because Lipozine is clinically proven to work. Call now to try Lipozine risk-free for 30 days for only $29.95. Call in the next 10 minutes and we'll double your order and include your shipping absolutely free. This offer will never be available in pharmacies or drugstores. Remember, Lipozine is clinically proven to reduce your body fat and weight or we'll refund your entire purchase price. To order, call 1-800-315-8989. May I kiss you? Carefully. Did that hurt? Only in principle, because I can't do anything more about it. <laughs> Soon. Not if my doctor has any say about it. You know, you really ought to trust Roger now. Why? Well, because he said you'd feel better, and you do. So what has he done for me lately? I told him I feel better. Does that make any difference to him? Suppose he's got me strung up and weighted down so I can't marry you? No. Whatever his faults, and there are quite a few, Roger's a wonderful doctor. Says who? Everybody. He used to make a joke and call himself Roger DFP Coleridge MD for damn fine physician. All that and modest, too. Well, he did say you could ask for another doctor if you want. No, I wouldn't give him the satisfaction. Besides, I like him where I can keep an eye on him. I don't want him trying to steal my girl. Oh, he <laughs> couldn't if he wanted. Anyway, he's still seen that awful lily creature, <laughs> for all I know. Not that I care. What are we talking about Roger for? I want to talk about you, about us. How much I love you. I'm for that. I love you, too. I came in here to tell you this wonderful news, and goodbye. What? What? I'm going to the Dominican Republic uh, this evening. Frank arranged everything. Wow, it's handy to have an ex-husband in the legal business. I'll get a divorce tomorrow morning, like that. Fly right back. And uh, as soon as you're well, we can be married. That's incredible. You happy? Ecstatic. You're what I want most in all this world. You don't think Roger will try and stop you? Oh, no. He's cooperated completely. Roger doesn't care at all. Hey! 
Roger. Oh, how are you? What can I do for you? Uh, you can give me a beer and maybe some uh, information. Well, the first part's easy enough. Information? About Barry Ryan. How come? Well, uh, as you know, he's, uh, he's my patient. Yeah. Ironic the way these things happen. I'm sorry. I mean, it's just at him and D. Yeah, well, be that as it may, I'm, I'm very interested in him, uh, medically speaking, of course. I need to know some more about his family history. You see, the uh, injury he incurred may have an underlying congenital factor. Uh, it could be hereditary. Oh, you're kidding. No, it's very possible. Well, wouldn't Barry be the person to ask about that? Well, not at this point. You see, I don't want to alarm him. John, can you help me? If I can, sure. Well, what I need is a name and an address, maybe somebody from Chicago. Uh, it would be best if it was a member of the family, someone I could trust and someone who would know a lot about Barry Ryan. Well, I don't get it, Roger. Are you saying that whatever's wrong with Barry could be serious? Well, conceivably, but uh, in any case, at this point, I don't want to worry him. The best thing to do would be make some discreet inquiries within the family. Uh, are they still all in Chicago? No, nah, no, nah, they've all scattered. Wait a minute. His big sister Maggie still lives there. <laughs> it's too bad you couldn't have spoken to his ex-wife a couple of weeks ago. She was in town. Yeah, I um, heard something to that effect. Yeah. She, uh, she'd be the person who would know more about Barry than almost anybody. <laughs> Elizabeth was her name. Real cute kid. She came back to town, uh, collected some alimony, and went back to California. Yeah, well, listen, John, could you give me his uh, sister's number? Oh, sure, sure. I got it here somewhere. Now, look, what about Dee and all this? I mean, shouldn't she be told? Well, let me see what I can find out before I give her any uh, cause to worry. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. Maggie O'Connor. Uh -huh. Roger, how serious could this be? Oh, well, look, I, I don't want you to worry prematurely, John. If my suspicions are confirmed, there's a number of courses I can take. Uh, I don't think anyone has to worry about Barry yet. I'm so happy. Me too. You're so different from Roger. Well, I'm not a sadist. How else? You accept me for what I am. Which is only wonderful. You don't resent my success. I applaud it. Roger was unfaithful. Why are we uh, talking about him? Because... He hurt me a lot when he was unfaithful. Delia, yeah, I don't even know the meaning of the word. I know that. And now I better go. <laughs> and when I return, I shall be a free woman. Not for long. Hello, Lily. How are you doing? <laughs> well, cosmically, I'm terrific, but Did has gone out of town, and it looks like it's going to be a long, boring evening. Listen, Dr. Coleridge is off duty. How about uh, a little late night visit? Wonderful. See you soon. Bye bye. And that <clears throat> area code was 201. Mm hmm. All right, thank you very much. How'd you make out? Well, his sister wasn't there, but uh, there's good news about his ex-wife. She's not in California after all. She just crossed the river in Patterson, New Jersey. She's got a darling daughter, a doting father, a position of power. You've worked harder than anyone. And a handful of enemies. And how can you tolerate Dad putting Ashley Abbott's well-being above your own? Get to know Ashley Abbott, Genoa City smart, savvy beauty. The Young and the Restless, tonight at 7 on SoapNet. Once every 10 years.
a movie comes along that captures the voice of a generation. At recent screenings, audiences have declared, Step Up is that film. So you think you can dance? Catch me. Now what? No other movie will make you feel this good. Step Up, rated PG-13. Experience it for yourself now, only in theaters. That was lunch lady. That's my favorite. Ah, the power of looking cool. All graphic tees buy one, get one free. No one gets back to school like Kmart. I only have How can a cereal so simple taste so good? Dear. Life is full of surprises. Mud. Cows are out. I found it. Hmm. I'll take it from here. Things are easier to find when they're stuck together. New Gladware interlocking lids lock together so you always know where they are. For lids that are easy to find, get glad. Does the high cost of health care have you worried? Do you find you can't afford health insurance? Are you underinsured? Well, here's the solution, Synergy Health. For less than $2 a day, your entire family can save thousands of dollars on all your medical expenses. With more than 600,000 providers around the country, this program can save you up to 60% on doctors, hospitals, hearing, vision, prescriptions, and even dental. Plus, you'll get great savings on chiropractic, alternative medicine, and more. Now my whole family gets regular checkups, and Synergy Health even books our appointments for all of us. If you don't have health insurance, or you don't have enough, Synergy Health is for you. I have a heart condition. But with Synergy Health, everyone's approved. You'll feel better with Synergy Health. With Synergy Health, I save $1,000 at my dentist. This program includes your entire family for less than $2 a day. Call 1-800-648-4841. Call now. He's got the looks. He's got the charm. Unfortunately. Live with your parents. Matthew McConaughey. Is that a problem? No. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker. He's smart, sweet. He's cute. How cute? Cute. Failure to launch. Available now on pay-per-view. Check your on-screen guide for channels and start times. It's going to take a stick of dynamite to get me out of my parents' house. Failure to launch. PG-13. Wonderful. You should have seen me. <laughs> I wish I had. I think you might. Maybe. I can't count on it. I can't even think about it. You, the audition went well. Incredibly. And Elliot said that I did a wonderful job and that the director might call me back. That's a second audition. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad I knew you could do it. You did not. But that's okay. So now you see what playing Marina partially undraped has finally done for me. It certainly did not. Well, what I really mean is it made me brave. Scared, but brave, if you know what I mean. Well, I could get this part. This could happen. I could get this part. Of course, I'll have to work hard. There's zillions of lines, and I'm not really into, into Sarah May's head yet. But I'll have plenty of time to work. We don't open till mid-fall. Listen to me. I'm already saying we. Boy, wait till I tell Seneca he's going to flip. Are you sure he's going to be that pleased? Are you kidding? He's always telling me to work on my acting, to go to class, to do my rounds, try out for commercials. Uh-huh, but a Broadway play can last, run a long time. He would never hold me back. He would never let anything hold me back. Unless if I'm, uh... Unless what? Unless if I'm pregnant. Kim, I thought you were using birth control. Well, I am, but I wasn't the first, few, the first few days we were married. I promised him a baby. God, what if it happened now? It would ruin everything. Well, I guess you just have to cross your fingers, but come on. Chances are you're safe, and the important thing is that you've decided not to have a baby right now, because career or no career, you're much too young. Kim? Seneca does agree to that, doesn't he? He doesn't. He doesn't even know. 
You haven't discussed it with him? What's to discuss? I know he wants a baby. I promised before I thought it through, that's all. Oh, but darling, surely he's going to understand if you just talk about it. No, that's not fair. I promised him. Now, he's looking forward to a family, and I'd rather he thought we were still trying. That way, if I do get the part, he'll know how important it is, and he'll be willing to wait. But I don't want him to think I went back on my promise now. Kim, that's lying. <sighs> the last thing I want to do is make Seneca unhappy. But you're not going to make him happy by lying to him. You know, I really thought I could confide in you without all these judgments pouring down on my head. I wanted to share this with you. I thought we were starting to get close. You know, close like... Like everything is, is operating differently now, like adults. Like friends who also happen to be mother and daughter. Darling, I want that very much too. But as your friend, I would have to warn you that building a relationship on lies is very dangerous business. And you can take that from one who knows. Well, that's just because you weren't careful enough. I can handle Seneca. Kim, what would happen if you did get this job and you were pregnant? Then I would handle that too. Don't worry, Mother. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Next, seduction rules the bedroom and the boardroom on The Young and the Restless. Then it's All My Children, followed by One Life on Soapnet. Victoria wants Brad, but Brad wants Sharon, and Sharon wants Nick, who wants Phyllis, who used to want Jack, but now wants Nick too. Get more of what you want. Watch Y&R, coming up next, only on Soapnet. A must-see Soap Talk event. We're celebrating the Young and the Restless's launch on SoapNet. The Y&R cast reveals big behind-the-scenes rivalry. We don't like each other very much. Well, she was a tramp, and I knew it. She's very annoying. Well, I'm a lot better looking than he is. Uh, a special Y&R Soap Talk, tonight at midnight, only on SoapNet. Central only on ABC. Wow, Jay looks fantastic. Bye, guys. Bye. Coffee? Yes. And this and this. You look amazing. What are you even doing? Eating breakfast. Really? Yeah, the Special K breakfast. Bowl of Special K red berries, fruit, and coffee. It's less than 250 calories for all this. It's no secret. Research shows women who eat breakfast, like the Special K breakfast, weigh less. Oh. Uh, all the same. Yeah, we should. And we take back breakfast today with the Special K Breakfast. Want an alternative to a thermal facelift? Warm up to Olay's new Regenerous Thermal Contour and Lift Treatment. Step one warms and helps recontour skin surface. Two hydrates to strengthen skin structure, lifting with a heated measure, not a drastic one. Fantastic. Be the first with these fantastic text tones on your mobile. Text tone to 42020. Attention! Message received, sir. Is this cool or what? You have a message, master. We have them all. Text tone to 42020. <laughs> Lady, what's wrong? Oh. I can't sleep. Oh, John, I'm sorry. Did I wake up to you? Oh. I didn't mean to. I was just feeling a little sad, that's all. Uh-oh. Thinking about Dee down in the Dominican Republic. Getting her a quickie divorce. Yes, and rushing head on to another marriage. Oh. You know, it may be prideful of me, John, but I just had it in my head that Roger was the man for her. And that, that somehow, eventually, they would work their problems out. But apparently that's not to be. It feels wrong to me. Think she's really in love with Barry? She's infatuated with him. I mean, Roger really hurt her badly. Barry's charming and seems like a safe harbor. That's my guess. John, do you, do you 
Remember the Christmas that Robert and her gave us this? Hi. They went to the dime store and had their pictures taken with that machine. <laughs> then invested in an expensive frame, and that was our gift. Look at that funny little grin on Bob's face, will you? Well, he must have been about 13 then. Yeah, which would make Dee, what, about eight? Yeah. Look at her with those great big sorrowful eyes. Yes. Stare. Who'd have thought? Someday she'd grow up and own a fancy restaurant. Yeah. And a, a not so fancy one, too. Now, John, paint it off bit by bit, and that was very generous indeed for Delia to bail us out. Stupid of me to get into that kind of trouble in the first place. But you have forgiven me for that, haven't you? John, I'm going to say it one more time. This is the last time. I was not angry because of the financial problem. That was your generosity to my family that got us into that anyway. I was angry because you kept it from me. It's pride. Stupidity and pride. I wanted you to go on thinking of me as a king. Oh. Well, I almost brought everything down. Us. No, we survived. It may have been the worst crisis of our marriage, but we survived. And there'd never be another one. Nothing like that. That's what makes me so sad, John. I wonder if it's such a good thing that people can end marriages today like they're getting off a bus. Well, I suppose these days kids get married and think it's an automatic guarantee they're going to be happy every single day for the rest of their lives. And when it doesn't happen that way, they get off the bus and get on the next one that comes along. I suppose it's a good thing that people can get out of really wrong situations, but I wish that the laws didn't make it so easy not to face your problems. Yeah. I mean, if Dee and Roger really had to look at the problems and work at them, there was love there, John. Well, they got hung up on pride and stupidity, too, from what I can gather. I'm only sorry you never got a chance to lock them in the basement together. Oh, yeah. What in the world is that? This hour. Oh, Lord, some people have no consideration. Hello. Dave. Dee, is that you? Where are you? Down here in a hotel. Oh, what is it, darling? I don't know. I just, I'm in this beautiful hotel room in this beautiful place, and I just can't stop crying. Oh. Dee, are you sure you really want to be there? Of course. Maybe you ought to come home and, and think things through again. There's nothing to think. Everything's decided. I'm divorcing Roger and marrying Barry. Nothing is decided, dear, until it's done. Well, I'm just a bundle of nerves. I'll be all right in the morning after I get some sleep. But I can't sleep. Dee. Think for a minute. <laughs> Have you asked yourself what you really want? I want to be happy. I want to make someone happy. Well, has that ever been true for you? I mean, have you made somebody happy? I thought so, but it changed. I just, I gotta fix things. Maybe, dear, you better make sure that you're fixing the right things. I'm just, I'm so confused. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have bothered you. Oh, of course you should have. Darling, I love you. And John loves you. There's a lot of people here that love you. Thank you. I gotta go now. Dee? Now, what was all that about? Dee is down there getting a divorce from Roger, and she's totally miserable. <laughs> Brad Pitt, Halle Berry, George Clooney. Today's sexiest stars all started on soaps. It's an all-new They Started on Soap special. They started on Soap 6, this Thursday at midnight, only on SoapNet.